So this gentleman, he calls me up. I've known him for a while and he said, Spencer, I'm done here. It's, it's time to move on. So we go through our process. We kind of get familiar with what the market will likely make available in a transaction. And his immediate reaction is like, he, he's disappointed. He's like, man, I just thought that there would be so much more than that. And I just don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm just gonna go and just keep on trucking and, and doing what I'm doing. And I know this guy, he's got some health issues and some other things. And it's like, well, well, hey, like what, what is the, what's the gap? What, what, what are you trying to close here? He's like, well, I need to be here in order to exit. And I said, okay, that's, it's good that you know that. What are you gonna do to close that gap between what the market says your business is worth today versus what you need it to be? And he said, what do you think I should do? And I said, well, in, in, in my experience, there's really four levers that you can pull to close that gap. Number one is time. You need time to affect change. Number two is capital. Increase the value of the business. You need to be able to invest in the business to do some of those things to activate the things that are actually gonna affect value. Number three is energy. Because probably if you're gonna activate some change, you're gonna to need to bring uh, a different attitude, a different level of intensity to go affect change. And then lastly, you're gonna to need to add risk. You're gonna to have to put some additional risk into the pot because anything that we invest, it doesn't, it's not a guaranteed return. I think everyone in trucking can agree with that. So I just said, hey, let's just like, what is available? What's on the table in terms of those, uh, of those four levers? What can we pull? And he kind of mentally, he's processing this. He's like, well, I'm out of time. I'm 65 years old. I'm done. Man. I'm ready to go retire, be with my grandkids. I said, what about capital? I said, well, no, I'm done with that. I've made promises to my wife. I'm not putting any more money in the business. What about energy? He said, no, I'm a variety of health ailments. There's nothing left to give about risk he's like absolutely not i've already risked far more than i ever intended to to secure um, to create financial security through my retirement that's off the table as well i was like well listen that effectively what you're telling me is that it is what it is like if you're not going to affect it because this is one of the most unforgiving industries on the planet so if we're not gonna put that on the table well the only thing that we're doing is position ourselves to lose value so that was a turning point for him in his mind, recognizing that like, like, hey, if the market says this is what it is and I'm not willing to affect that, then it's time for me to take my chips off the table and do what I can. And, and I think that the takeaway for our friends in this network is just, hey, just use that as a discipline. If you're trying to close a gap, like have an honest conversation with yourself. Those are four very basic or levers to think about that you can uh, leverage to go uh, create value and if you're not willing to activate any of them you know then it's probably time um, to go a different direction listen if we always talk about education here and if you want to exit on your terms you've got to start with education that starts at the tinnygroup.com see you soon